good morning students welcome to the science class uh, chapter 1 animals and habitats so in the last video we have discussed about the animals and habitats animals are different sizes animals have different shapes and today we are going to discuss about the feeding habits of animals movement in animals so let's start feeding habits of animals different animal eat different types of food and animals mouth teeth and even body structure all help it to eat a certain type of food animals that eat plants animals that eat plants are called herbivores like giraffe deer panda sheep cow horses and elephants they have strong teeth strong they have strong flat and sharp front teeth for biting and cutting and strong teeth at the back for chewing the plant food elephant herbivores have flat and sharp front teeth for biting and cutting and strong teeth at the back for chewing the plant food these are the herbivorous animals and animals that eat other animals they are called carnivorous like wolves lion tiger and cat have very sharp curved teeth for the tearing of flesh of their prey the grinding teeth are also very strong and sharp to chew flesh and break bones they are the carnivorous animals and animals that eat plants and animals both animals that eat plants and animals both are called omnivores they are omnivores of omnivores feed on both plants and animals they have both sharp as well as grinding teeth like bear monkey pig and man they are the examples of the omnivores some other omnivores are chickens crows and ducks now next one is growing animals growing animals are or rodent animals it is also called the rodent animals like rabbit and rats rodent or growing animals like rabbits rats and squirrels have very sharp front teeth to bite fruit seeds etc slowing their food as a whole slowing their slow, uh, swallowing their food as a whole some carnivorous animals such as lizard snakes and frogs do not chew their food they swallow their food it whole movement in animals the so animals that walk or run most mammals have four limbs most mammal have four limbs limbs two four limbs at the front and two hind limbs at the back some animals like cheetah lions antelopes horses zebra cows dogs etc cats etc use their all the four limbs to move or run kangaroo walk on its two legs only kangaroo walks on its two legs only animals that fly some animals fly in the air most birds fly in the air birds have two legs to walk on the ground their two four limbs are modified into wings birds fly with the help of wings some other animals also can fly like house fly mosquitoes dragon flies butterflies moths and bees are the they are the flying insect the bat has two large wings for flying it is a mammal bat is a mammal and the flying squirrel has loose skin between its front and back legs some animals creep and crawl like a snake 
earthworm earthworm snake and worms do not have legs they creep on ground by moving their bodies a snake moves by curving and straightening its body and the earthworm moves by shortening and elongating its body on its body there are tiny hair like bristles which grip and which grip the surface and help it to move along now a snail a snail a snail uses its muscular foot to glide along the ground the muscles in the foot contract and relax to produce a wave like movement crocodile and lizard crocodile lizard and tortoise they use their four legs to crawl since their legs are short their bodies remain close to the ground as they crawl insects also crawl on the ground they use their six legs to crawl animals that swim fishes fish have fins for swimming a fish goes through the water by moving its body and tail from side to side fish blue whale and the dolphin whales dolphins and are mammal they are mammal which live in the sea they are often mis mistake mistaken for fish like the fish they have the streamlined body and a powerful tail and are good they are good swimmer they use their front fins for steering unlike the fish they breathe through lungs they are grouped under mammal because they give birth to young ones and they produce milk to feed them so in the part, second part part 2 we have discussed about the feeding habits of animals and movement in animals and in the next video we will discuss this we will discuss rest of the part of this chapter okay so read this chapter carefully student again and find the